But before we ramp up this episode, last time we were on air, I had a whole pile of books here, and Jizzo here came up and it's like, what book do we want? Should I read? And I gave him one of my personal favorites, and I'd like him to talk about it today. Uh, you read John Keel's The Mothman Prophecies. Tell us a little bit about The Mothman. So let's talk about The Mothman, guys. Um, thank you for having me, John, on Cryptic City. This is absolutely one of my favorite shows, and this topic is definitely something that delves into the, the realm that some people are scared to talk about and you bring that to the forefront so this is definitely something that that's important that people you know that that's kind of like that taboo thing that people don't want to talk about for the most part so you know we're going to go ahead and bring that to the forefront i read the mothman prophecies and um for those of you who are like what's the mothman according to eyewitness accounts he's somebody that's similar to a moth he's got a wingspan of either eight to ten feet He's about seven feet tall. Um, and so the story of the Mothman starts back in 1966. There was a situation where there was a guy and his wife died mysteriously. And he was put to investigate, you know, uh, the death of his wife. And, and things started happening to where there was multiple, you know, people that, that, that were seeing this Mothman. And it eventually all came to an end when there was the collapse of a bridge where I think it was like 40, 50 The people. Silver Bridge. The Silver Bridge. Which at the time was like the biggest national tragedy in the U.S. or in the world. 46 people died on the bridge. And so it was definitely something that was, you know, and, and that's kind of, and I think that's where the Mothman prophecy kind of where it like died out for the most part where it was the like the last, you know, trail of it. But um, a lot of people still do believe. And, and I mean, it, let let's just let's let's dive a little bit deeper into the mothman prophecies there's been a lot of speculation about who he could be or how he came about some people say that um it was something to do with an old ancient indian burial uh site where you know it, it was something to do with a curse there was another Chief cornstalk i believe yeah and so there was another deal where it was posi- where they were saying that he was you know um a result of a chemical plant Something that went wrong at a chemical uh, They created the bombs for World War II off into the forest, not off um, in the area where the sightings occurred. And in the 60s, it was a closed-off area that the teenagers went to go necking at, to use the slang of the time. Yeah, so, you know, and, 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 and that's kind of where there was a lot of, like, sightings and... and it just depends how you want to look at it and what you believe in. But, you know, to me, I, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the, you know, the chemical thing sounds kind of weird to me, John. And, and you don't know. I mean, that there's been a lot of chemical examples of people wor- uh, morphing into certain things um, in our generation. You know, the Batman movie, Joker falls into an acid tub and becomes the Joker. And you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like. Those are the, you know, I don't know. I think it could have been something to do with a chem- with, with, with a chemical situation accident that happened. But right. I definitely believe that it's real. There was a lot of sightings. A lot of people talked about it. And, and it's, you know, it's just one of those things. We didn't have social media back then. So there would have been no way of, like, actually saying, all right, well, you know, there's emails on it. Or there's, it's kind of just, like, word, word of mouth from yeah. back then. But, yeah. So what do you think about that? Well, Mothman is definitely my favorite cryptid and my favorite thing. Uh, as you can see on my logo, it's even on the beginning of the C here. Uh, it, I believe the Mothman's there, and I think it's something we have to cover. Uh, for those who out there are interested, definitely pick up the Mothman Prophecies by John Keel. And ignore the movie with Richard Gere. It's terrible and has rare, little to do with the book. Um, okay. But definitely pick up the book. 